Presenting the electronic soup can. This isn't your ordinary soup can. It's a party machine with lights, disco ball, smoke, and sound effects. Here's how we built it. We started with a regular can of soup. After opening it up and removing the contents, we were left with what would become the centerpiece of this project. We designed the custom parts using CAD software, and we 3D printed the components. We start by assembling the mechanism that lifts and rotates the disco ball. We selected small gear head motors with specific RPM ratings to drive each mechanical effect. Later, we will interface our control board with the sound module to simulate a button press. For now, here's a sample of the playback when triggered manually. Next, we'll mount the sound module circuit board and speaker to the mechanism. Now we install the motor that will rotate the soup can. Here we install the linear actuator that raises and lowers the entire upper mechanism. We then assemble the LED wiring for the four white lights that will illuminate the disco ball. If you're enjoying this project, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Next, we wire the green and blue flashing LEDs that will accompany the music. By the way, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell us what you think of this project in the comments below.
After installing the green and blue LEDs into the mechanism, we test the wiring with a temporary control board programmed to flash the lights. Here you can see the wiring neatly bundled and tucked away for a clean finish. You can also see that the dedicated control board with the microcontroller has been installed, loaded with the code we wrote to orchestrate the show. We'll use this 2200 milliamp hour battery to power the electronics. Next, we install the on-off switch and wire power to all the circuit boards. The performance will be triggered using this remote control module. We connected power, ground, and the control signal to the module. Here's the motor driver circuit board. Controlled by input signals from the microcontroller, it operates the actuator that moves the mechanism up and down, and the motor that raises and lowers the disco ball. we wired a transistor to the rotation motor we showed earlier. The transistor switches the motor on and off in response to control signals from the microcontroller. For the smoke effect, we built a socket for a quarter watt 10 ohm resistor. Pushing excess current through it produces smoke, and a MOSFET driven by the microcontroller supplies the current. Now that everything is wired and assembled, we test to make sure all systems are functioning properly. Presenting the electronic soup can. The final task is to permanently affix the disco ball to the mechanism and place the device into the soup can. The electronic soup can is ready for its big moment. Let's fire it up. Be sure to stick around until the end. We'll show you an unedited night version of the performance that highlights the disco ball and LED effects. Presenting the electronic soup can from Smart Circuit Engineering. Let's get ready to celebrate.
presenting the electronic soup can from Smart Circuit Engineering.